She said, most of you are heedless, heedless of one of the greatest forms of ibadah, and that is al-tawadur, and that is humility. Still talking about the concept or the character of humility and humbling oneself in front of people so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can raise you in his sight. Hassan al-Basri, ta'ala, one of the scholars of the past, he said, or he was asked about tawadur, what is tawadu or what is humility? He said, and talqa musliman and la talqa musliman illa wa tadunnu annahu khayru mink. He said, tawadu or humbling yourself is that you don't come in contact with any Muslim except that you believe that he is better than you. That you don't come in contact with any Muslim except that you believe that the person is better than you. While today we do the opposite, we come in contact with a Muslim and the first thing we do is we're looking for whatever flaw that we can find in him or her to use that as to validate ourselves, to make ourselves seem I'm better than him. He doesn't have a beard, I have a beard, I'm better than him. His garment is not above his ankles, mine is, I'm better than him. He doesn't know Arabic, I know Arabic, I'm better than him. We even ask people, how much Qur'an have you memorized? Do you know the whole Qur'an? Or how many Jews of Qur'an do you know? So that he can answer and we can say, I know more than him, I'm better than him. One of the scholars of the past, he said that when you leave out of your home, there's three people that you come in contact with. You come in contact with a person who is older than you. And you, said, uh, and you say to yourself that the person is older than me, he embraced Islam before me, and he has a greater virtue with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than I do. Or you come out your house and you meet someone that, are, that is like you on your same level and you meet your equal. Or you come out the house and you meet someone who you are older than them and you say sabaktuhu ila dhunub, that I beat him to sin. You know what I mean? I'm older than him so I, fall, I fell into sin before he's even recognized sin. But always looking at the person as having more virtue than yourself. That you do not leave out of your home and la talqa musliman illa wa tadunna annahu khayru mink that you do not meet a Muslim or come in contact with a Muslim except that you say to yourself this person is probably better than me constantly finding fault with yourself the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said al kayisu man dana nafsahu wa amila lima ba'd al mawt that the kayis al fatin the intelligent person right the intelligent person al kayis man dana nafsahu that he always finds fault with himself. <coughs> this intelligent person, the smart person, is the one who always finds fault with himself. <laughs> and he always works towards the hereafter. That the kayis, the fatan, the intelligent person, is the one who always finds fault with himself. Imam Shafi, rahimahullah ta'ala, he said, A'zam al nas qadran man la yadri qadrahu. A'zam al nas. قدراً من لا يدري قدره وأفضل الناس منزلة من لا يرى منزلته وأكثر الناس فضلاً من لا يدري فضله Imam Shafi رحمه الله تعالى He said that the people that have the greatest you know level the greatest station is the one who doesn't see his own station doesn't see his own station to be above people he doesn't even see himself a lot of people sometimes think that you're in competition with them and you're not actually in competition with anybody but yourself. You are not trying to be better than anyone except the person that you were yesterday. You are in competition with yourself while other people see you and think that there's some silent competition going on between you and them. I don't even see you. I don't even see you. I only see me. I'm not in competition with anybody else except myself trying to be better today than what I was yesterday. That's it. But the people who have the greatest qadr, the people who have the, the, the greatest estimation, the greatest station are the people who don't even see their own station. They don't see themselves to be anything. 
And the people who have the greatest virtue are the people who don't even see their own virtue. The people who don't see their own virtue. They don't see that they have a virtue over other people. These are the people who have the greatest virtue. Ayyub al-Sakhtiyani, one of the scholars of the past, he said, إِلَّا أَقْوَامًا يَتَرَفَّعُونَ وَيَأْبَ اللَّهُ يَأْبَ اللَّهُ إِلَّا أَنْ يَضَعَهُمْ وَهُنَاكَ أَقْوَامٌ يَضَعُونَ أَنفُسَهُمْ وَيَأْبَ اللَّهَ إِلَّا يَأْبَ اللَّهُ إِلَّا أَنْ يَرْفَعُهُمْ That there are some people who seek to raise themselves. يَتَرَفَّعُونَ They seek to raise themselves. وَيَأْبَ اللَّهُ إِلَّا but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala refuses to raise them and instead humbles them, debases them, humiliates them. Because you try the more you try to raise yourself, the more Allah will humiliate. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al rafi or who al khafid Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who raises. You don't raise, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raises you. The more you try to raise yourself, the more Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will debase you. He said, in the aqwaman, that people, there are people out there who try to raise themselves, but Allah refuses to raise them and instead debases them, humiliates them, lowers them. He said, There are people who lower themselves, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala refuses for them to humble themselves and instead raises them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a rafi. Yarfa illahu alladheena amanu minkum wa alladheena utul ilma darajat. That Allah will raise those from amongst you who have been given knowledge and those who, uh, those who fear him and those who have been given knowledge, those who believe and those who have been given knowledge darajat in degrees. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who raises you. وَرَفَعْنَا لَكَ ذِكْرَ that we have raised your remembrance. We told the Prophet Sallallahu We have raised your remembrance. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is the one that raises. You don't raise. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala raises. When you humble yourself, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will raise you. But when you seek to raise yourself, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will debase you, will humiliate you. And this is a characteristic that many of us have, uh, have you know, been uh, you know, heedless of. The Prophet وسلم, as we mentioned yesterday, he would build his companions up. But on the flip side of building them up, he would also humble them as well. Or he would also teach them to humble themselves. The Prophet وسلم, as we mentioned about Abu Bakr yesterday, he said, لَوْ وُزِنَ إِمَانُ أَبِي بَكْرَ مَعَ إِمَانُ أُمَّتِي لَرَجَّحَ إِمَانُ أَبِي بَكْرَ that if the Iman, the faith of Abu Bakr was to be weighed against the faith of my Ummah, the faith of Abu Bakr would outweigh my Ummah. And then he taught Abu Bakr how to humble himself by the dua. He said about Umar anhu, لو كان نبي بعدي لكان عمر anhu. He said that if there was going to be another prophet after me, it would have been Umar. Umar bin al-Khattab anhu. هذا منزل عظيم. Just imagine what is going through Umar's head as he, hear the, as he heard the Prophet ﷺ say this. That if there was going to be another Prophet after me, it would have been Umar ibn al-Khattab. And as a result, Umar anhu, he used to walk around the city of Medina with a, a, a water skin. He used to serve people water. And they used to say to him, Anta Amir Mu'mineen, you are the leader of the believers. How do you walk around serving people water? But he used to do that to humble himself. Because he didn't want anything to go to his head. He wanted to protect himself. That whoever humbles himself for Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will raise you. So this is, you know, just a reminder to myself first and foremost and a reminder to everyone else to humble yourself. The Prophet sallallahu said, Look at the one that is beneath you and not, don't look to the one that is above you. Humble yourself. Look at the people who have less than you and stop looking at the people who have more than you. Aspiring for more, aspiring for more. Be satisfied with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you and Allah will give you more. If you are grateful, I'll give you more. If you are grateful, I'll give you more. If you humble yourself, I'll raise you higher. This is the interaction that the human being should have with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
And this is a reminder, you know, to ourselves that sometimes we live in a world today with all of the social media where we try to paint this image of ourselves that we are larger than life, that we are greater than what we actually are. We post pictures on our Facebook page, we post pictures on our Twitter page, and on our, our Tumblr page, and on this page, and on Instagram, and all of it is a facade. All of it is a facade to make people believe that our life is so perfect. When you go through a person's Twitter page and you go through, you know, his Facebook page and you go through his Instagram page, you think the person is the most religious, the most righteous person that you could ever come across. This is an internet presence that we have created for ourselves that really has very little reality to it. Humble yourself before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to meet a Muslim and believe that every Muslim that you come in contact with is better than you. How many of us can actually do that? How many of us can meet another Muslim and then upon shaking a person's hand we say, SubhanAllah, the person is better than me. Learn how to humble yourself. Learn how to humble yourself. If you don't, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will humble you. هذا وصل الله على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا وآخر دعوانا عن الحمد لله رب العالمين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته